Hello guys, and today I would like to show you how, ca how you can use the TrueDev camera on the iPhone 10. So, this is my first English developer video, my first completely, my first video in English on YouTube. So, I want to show you how to use the TrueDev camera on the iPhone 10, as I've said, mentioned before. So, I'm in Xcode on my Mac. And today I would like to build a argument reality app because that's what you use to build uh, to use the TrueDev camera on the iPhone 10. So let's get started. As you know, as you maybe, yes, you will definitely um, mention or not mention. As you will recognize, English is my first language. I'm from Germany, but I haven't found a video yet which shows this feature on YouTube, so I thought it would be a great idea to do it. Okay, so let's start it with an argument reality app. Here are also some possibilities to do some other kind of uh, some other kind of applications, but as I mentioned, we have to choose argument reality app. In in InDev, I would like to show you how you can track emotion on the, of the user of the app. And that is what you can do with a TrueDev camera and argument, Argumented Reality or RR. So let's start it. Let's get started. So let's choose any name you, would, you like. Let's say RR Face Emotion. That's all. If you want to use it, you have to be an Apple registered developer because not in the paid program, you can also use the free one. You only have to give them your email address and a password and then you're in and then you are able to download Xcode betas That's that are, bro that are versions of Xcode before it com comes to public to publicity to public as you know and you can also test or run your applications on the device that's important for our topic today because you can only test the TrueDev camera with an iPhone 10 not with a simulator only with a real device iPhone 10 so language is Swift because I only know objective which I only know um, Swift and so let's get started here. Let's build it as you were as you where you want. Let's click on create. And yes, here we are. Let's go first to the free controller. There you have to change it first. I'm going to change this the unseen. I have chosen the um, scene kit for argumented reality for RR or the RR kit, but you also can also choose sprite kit, but it's what you like. So let's get started here. I have erased the scene because I don't want to have my ship, this ship which Apple provides as a template in my face. That's what it looks like in scene kit and in R an RR kit. So here we have got, so I've only erased it. And so let's change the configuration of the session. So we don't use the AR world tracking configuration because this means you will have to, you will have to capture, or you will have your session with the back camera. We want to use the front camera of the iPhone 10. So we have to use the RF face tracking configuration here you go and we will and we will do it so this is what it means so this configuration will be run on the session of our of our scene scene view and let's do some other kind of settings of our configuration you can know this what's yes that's of course what we want and there's this one, this has to be true, or oh, you have to have it true, or I don't know. Uh, also, I don't also know what, exactly what it means. Only Apple shows it and it's developer 
in the, on its side for developers. And so I will do it too. So this session will run. And so and so and so. And now we will call it a method of a delegate. So let's have a look what we've got here. Let's have a look. We need renderer. Um, we'll update for SCN node and we will use the node. So let's have a guard statement that it won't be optional. Guard, let's say face node. And maybe I have to use the keyword let, let face node is um, equals anchor which is here over here as you can see and so we will cast it as our face face anchor and if that fails we will have an else else block because we are in a guard statement and we'll only return nothing Yes, return. Oh, yes. I don't have to force cast it, so only this one. Okay, now we've got face anchor and we can do a lot of things with it. As you know, this function will be called if, if the anchors were changed, Archer, or were changed as you wanted. And let's say, face anchor dot blend shapes that's more what the, mostly what the face is tracked what the true ref camera tracks the face so as you have seen it it's a it's a dictionary we will have it as uh, let motion equals face anchor dot blend shapes. Okay, now we can especially print out something. Print emotion and as you know it's a dictionary so we ha will have to use this kind of brackets a face we use uh, anchors face anchors dot blend shape location and now we can choose whatever you want there's a lot of values which we can track so let's track jar open which is quite interesting so that one that isn't doesn't matter maybe we can force Unwrap it too. Okay, this isn't what you like, so let's don't, let's don't force unwrap it. So and let's run it on my iPhone 10 and have a look what happens. So I will also I will first build it on my iPhone 10. And I will also capture the screen that you can see what's happening. And we will also have our console that you will see what's going to print out and see that it really works. So and firstly we will get a message that we that we, our app wants uh, access to our camera. That's preset by the uh, argument reality app template if you start from scratch you will have to do it in the info.plist list but that doesn't matter at first so you see me and now you're seeing some kind of values which are optional it doesn't matter but you can see it's working and you see my it's as I move my my mouth the values changed the values are changing so let's open my mouth 
completely, more or less. And as you can see, when I put away my phone from my face, I don't, it won't track anything. And no values are print out for the tracking. And as you can see, the highest point or the highest level of value is more or less 1. So this was my first video in English on YouTube and my first developer video as well. And I would like to th say thank you to you for watching and see you on the next one.